Greetings, beloved of my Father. Welcome to Kitchen Pulpit, where we preach not with Bibles, songbook, but we do it with pot pans and our organic ingredients. And our pastor for today, of course, on the Kitchen Pulpit, is none other than Nyari. How are you doing? Thank you very much for having me. I'm doing all right. Well, let me tell you something. You know, I've got a, a mining of mine. She mm -hmm. thinks she's your favorite fan, but I was actually arguing that I'm your favorite fan. Mm -hmm. Please, can you confirm on set that I'm the biggest fan of you and I? Well, <laughs> well, she can't seem to be able to do that. But well, welcome to Kitchen Pooping. This is a brand under the Ndawayam, uh, which is extolling and exalting a healthy lifestyle using plant-based uh, meals. So Nyari, uh, tell us, what are we making today? I see it's all looking, I don't know if, if there's a word like fantabula, super splendiferous. I don't even know what word to use because I'm loving what I'm seeing here. Um, do you always use those words? The super well. different. And <laughs> I don't even know the English words. Uh, welcome everyone. Today we are going to be making couscous. I'm adding it to my dictionary. Please don't do it. Okay, I'll just say yeah. to this, you look couscous, you know. I mean. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So what are we... So our focus, since you said it's plant-based, often you get questions from people that don't know what to eat when they go plant-based. They just think, am I going to be eating sadza? Am I going to be eating rice? Am I going to be eating beans? So uh, in these episodes, we're going to be looking at different grain options that you can use as a substitute for your starches. So couscous is one of the grains that we're going to start this episode with, which is a North African grain. You'll be surprised that this is a, this is a grain from Africa. You mean couscous is actually a grain? Yeah, it's a grain. Uh, does it have any... Um, health benefits? Or? Yes, 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 definitely. It's your source of carbohydrates. So these grains are your alternatives for your starchy options. The sadza, the potatoes, the rices that we are used. Hmm. Well, I can't yeah. wait. Let's, let's get the ball rolling because I just want to feel couscous today. <laughs> don't do it. Okay, fine. Yeah, don't. Ah. Like, just speak English. We're cooking. Mm, nothing fancy. So, yeah, no, don't do it. So today, like I said, we are we're using couscous as our dish. This is a meal that you can whip up in like 5 minutes, 10 minutes. You have guests quickly and you want to do a, a fast plant-based something, you use your couscous. So, so are you saying in 5 minutes I'll actually be tasting something? Can you relax? Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you, you'll be eating in 5 minutes. <laughs> so yeah what you want to do with your couscous there are different brand types but if you're in Harare you can get this from Food Lovers from Vegan Vibes from Juniper they have quite a variety of brands so you want to pour your couscous in a bowl in a bowl they say that bowl is not an English word bowl it, yeah, are your bowels this this is called a ball. Well, I I mean they normally. I, you can add that to your English dictionary. So you want to. Bow bow bow. Ball ball. ball. This is a ball. How do you kick a ball? No. Okay, I'm I'm not in an English class. I'm yeah. in a, a kitchen puppet <laughs> session. So let's so hear what the chef says. So you want to take your you want to take your couscous, salt it, spice it. I like my black pepper. So you do all of this before you, you, you put it on the stove or, if, or anything. Okay. So does this add the flavor? or? Yes, it okay. adds the flavor. One of my favorite spices is oregano. I don't know if anyone can completely relate. That oregano, I think it's the thing of, of, of kings. Yeah, I mean, we can relate. Some of us who are born kings. <laughs> <laughs> oregano is literally the thing of kings. It tends a, a basic meal into a royal something. So maybe because uh, maybe there could be someone who's watching, is mm -hmm. it possible for you probably uh, mm -hmm. to actually have fresh oregano and yeah, maybe yeah, yeah, put yeah, it yeah, in yeah. your backyard? Yeah, 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 definitely. You okay. can have your own oregano. You can put it inside, you can put it outside. So... So you want to mix you want to mix your couscous with your salt and your spice. Just so it's well mixed. Get your hot water. 
it has to be hot. It has to be hot. Okay. It's like you're making cereal, basically, oh, okay. where you pour in your hot milk, but here we're pouring in the hot water. So you pour in your hot water and you let it sit. The idea is that the couscous cooks by sucking in hot water. You're softening the grain. Oh, yeah. does it also expand? Yes, it expands. You know, I, was, I was wondering, the two of us, are we going to fit in that? <laughs> but anyway, like you said, it expands. If you can help me with the stove. Okay, so we are going. You know, my knife skills are not the best. This show is about teaching you how to cook, not to um, watch my knife skills. Well... Yeah. Thank you. But I, I still think they are, they are okay. Hashtag no judging. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I see you're cutting carrots. Is there any right. healthy benefit? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, growing up, our parents always used to say that, eat your carrots, you're going to have good vision. Are you saying I didn't eat as many carrots? Definitely. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. Um, uh, um, don't tell us. Mississippi. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I grew up in Kambuzuma. Uh, but yeah. Well, that, that, that says a lot. You know Mississippi? I mean... Oh. I mean Kambuzuma. Okay. Now forget about where I grew up from. So carrots, you said they're good for vision? Yeah, so your carrots are good for vision. That's as much as I know. Okay. In terms of health benefits, they also are high in keratin, which is good for your system. Um, so our couscous, we're going to be making it as a salad. There are different ways that you can do your couscous. You can do it as a starch and then have a stew on the side. You can do it as a salad mixed with a variety of vegetables, which is what we're going to do today. So you want to cut dice however you want to have your vegetables in preparation for the salad so in the pot i've got my oil already heated i'm not going to use the onion for this episode because i'm thinking we're preparing this for sabbat lunches and onion will make the food go bad faster okay. so uh, i'm going to sit here my carrots You want to saute your carrot? So, uh, well, before you, you saute your carrot, yeah. I realized you didn't even peel it. Yeah. Uh, most people say you, you actually keep all the nutrients. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You keep all the nutrients when you don't scale it, but just make sure you've washed it clean. So all my vegetables that I'm using here today, I've pre-washed them. So let's saute it. Okay, so make sure that they're soft. I honestly discourage the use of spices or thickness because most of them nowadays they add MSG which is not good for your system so I encourage the use of herbs fresh herbs that you know what you're putting in your system I'm just asking for a friend but you know you know I know what, what SMG is but okay. just asking for a friend who might know what it is what's that I actually don't know the what is abbreviated for I'm okay. sure it's a big scientific word for okay. something but I just know that most of your spices I'm glad you didn't ask me to explain it as I was going <laughs> So once your carrot is soft, I am going to add my broccoli. Yeah. You don't want to overcook your vegetables because once you overcook them, you're losing the nutrient component oh. which you were talking about. So what we're buying for here is color. Oh, okay. Because remember it's a salad. The food must be equally appetizing to the 
eye as it is to your taste buds. People actually eat with their eyes, did you know? That when you look, look at good food, that's what a lot of advertisers use as a gimmick to get people to buy their food. When you see chicken in, or these guys advertising their food, they put the most scrumptious. Can I, can I put you on the spot? Yeah. How many colors must be in a plate for you to say it's divine? Rainbow, go for the rainbow. Rainbow? Yeah. So you can even put nine colors? Seven colors. Oh, a rainbow is seven colors? Yeah. Now you know where I was schooled. Eh? <laughs> in combo zoom. <laughs> I'm going to add my peas. So I like my peas hard, but okay. other people like it soft. soft. So it just depends on how you like your peas done. But basically what you're doing here is uh, doing a vegetable goulash. Hmm. I'm sure no. that's a, a word that you like. No, goulash is a good word. Now, you know what I'm, I'm, I'm now struggling to figure out? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where is this, uh, this uh, divine smell coming from? Is it coming from the, uh, from the bowl mm -hmm. or is it coming from the plate? It's a bowl. It's a, I, I'm still, I still can't get it right. Because what I know in Kambuzuma. Come on, li li listen to you. You went to Kambuzuma, you wouldn't know these things. It's KZ. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, look, I think God was really gracious when he was doing the different colors in fruits and vegetables and also the nutrient component that comes with the colors. They say that the color that you see is going to help something in your body. So your reds are going to help with your blood, uh, your greens, your purples. Everything is custom geared to make sure it helps something in your body. So when you hear them say that your health is your wealth, it is as true as it sounds. So just a quick question. Yes. I see, you know, we are used to these big uh, tomatoes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but I see you're using the... The smaller ones. The smaller ones. So these are cherry tomatoes. They are good for salads. Remember, we are going for a salad. So they give a good color. They remain firm. Yeah. See, I can't even take my eyes off the, the pot because I'm already taken by the color that it brings By out. the color that is coming out here. Yeah? So you want to make sure that you have not overcooked in anything. Everything should remain firm and scrumptious. So as you can see, our couscous has already sucked in all the water. Oh. Yeah, it's now dry and firm. Would you like to taste? Obviously, why not? Okay. Mm. Is it ready for? Yeah, you can. I like that. Mm. Mm. Are you allowed to taste one? No. <laughs> I, I like Do you know the, the definition of tasting? I like the combination of the... You said uh, you put black pepper? Yeah, black pepper, salt and oregano. oregano. So just pre-spicing our... So oregano becomes the royal spice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm already feeling like a king. Mm -mm. Can you relax? Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to add my couscous. To the pot if you can help me with my stove. Okay. So couscous is a starch, confirm? Yes. Oh. So you're it's making a, a salad of starch and yeah yeah yeah. Mm. So this helps for people that are always asking, oh, um, if I go vegetarian, what am I going to eat? You can actually be vegetarian and not eat sada, what, not a day in the week. Is that good English? Sada, not a day in the week. That you can actually have your, your lunch, your supper, your lunch, your supper, seven days straight without having to eat sada because we have a myriad of grains that you can use as a starch option. Wow. Yeah. So you say the grain comes from North Africa? Yeah, it's a North African grain. Okay. But can yeah. you grow it here in Zimbabwe? Or? I'm not sure. I've oh, okay. not seen or heard where it's grown here in Africa. Hmm. The smell is just not good. It's not good? It's, it's already taking me to that place where you wish. Like, I, I've been checking my time in five minutes. It's not over because <laughs> I'm already... 
I'm going plate. to add one last ingredient, which is uh, my rocket. So my last ingredient that I'm going to add is sweet corn. Okay. Yeah. This will finish our salad with the wow. color. Now that's color. Yeah. If this food tastes as much as it looks, then wow, we are I told it. you, you eat with your eyes. <laughs> so already, even if the food doesn't taste as nice, you've already, already registered. Yeah, okay. you've already told yourself that, oh my God, the food looks nice. So, yeah, here we go. So all your vegetables are still firm, nicely salted, nicely spiced. I can have the plates. There you wow. go. Wow. If my son would be here, we're like, I'm a zing. <laughs> it looks good. Thank you. So the salad can be served with the dressing of your choice, your tahinis, your Greek dressing, your vinaigrettes, just for the zing. Okay, can I be honest with you? Mm -hmm. For me, mm -hmm. I just want it the way that it looks. Right. So I, you've got different uh, tastes, different textures. So you've got sweet stuff there, your sweet corn. You've got your soft tomatoes. Can I please you've dig it? Please, please go ahead. Thank you. Let me. You know, in Marundera, there mm. used to be a housing corporation called Go For It. What? Only what? now that I'm saying it, do I actually realize that the name of that corporation was Go For It. Except they shonerized it and say, go for it. You can go for it. Wow. Because I didn't want your story to disturb my chest part. <laughs> mm. Mm. You like it? The peas. Mm -hmm. They just... Mm. And the taste of the couscous itself? Let me take again. Maybe yes. then I'll be able to... to your tasting, remember? Yeah, I mean, you're allowed yeah, to taste yeah. <laughs> The last one. Okay. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> wow, wow. This is good, Nyari. Um, I, I, can't, I can't wait to get offset. Mm -hmm. Call my friends and mm -hmm. tell them. But mm -hmm. in case there's some already watching mm -hmm. right now and they say, mm -hmm. we really want to get how to make these quick, nice, mm -hmm. l good looking mm -hmm. uh, dishes, Mm -hmm. um, how do they get uh, in touch with Junior? So we've got a number of restaurants called Yanaya Lifestyle. We're currently only in Arare, so they can come in for plant-based, good, nourishing meals. Wow, nourishing indeed. Yes, well, nourishing. you've had it for yourself, beloved friends. And in case you'd want to get more information about Yanaya, please just check of the information that is coming on our screen. For me, guys, I can't wait to get off screen so that I can just... Uh, this time not taste but actually go go for, for it thank you <laughs> god bless you thank you for joining us at kitchen pulpit and we can't wait for you to join us yet again with a pasta of the kitchen pulpit Nyari. next week you're going to be here again definitely i'm coming back we're going to look at another grain that you can play around with in the kitchen do you want to give them a tantalizing i don't know no, they should come just come just come yeah. i can't wait to be here again mm -hmm. to taste it and dig in and i'll go for it. Dingo da kuta ura kuti, na pone swangero paro. Pamsana pope muta wake, di changara kumusha kona na pone swam, gero para kere nye nye, na pone swam, shendi chiri mwana wake. Dino farange kuti jesu, awu ya kundi pone sam. Ge kuti kupenya pa kekum, kuri kundi tunga miram. Da pone sam, gero para kere nye nye. Da pone sam.
kuswa chendichiri mwana wake dinotondera mupone sin dichiri kufunga ndiye dirikuimbangu atese gerudo rukuru wake ndapone swam gero para kere nyenye ndapone swam chendi chiri mwana wake dichamu wona mambo wangu ndo itamu tema wake Achiri kundi tunga mira Dakara kumusha kwa ke Ndapona neswa Ngero para kere nyenye Ndapona neswa Shengichiri mwana wake Chiri po chire mba kudenga Chino ni miri raini Ticha enda nge kukasika Kumusha wake watenzi Ndapona ngelo neswa Ngelo para kere nyenye Ndapona neswa Shendi chiri mwana wake Chiri mwana wake